Hey friends, today at the clubhouse we're putting up word signs to help our friend Eddie as he learns to read. Keep your eyes peeled to see how many word signs you can see. See you there. C-H-A-I-R spells chair. T-A-B-L-E spells table. And F-R-I-E-N-D spells friend. Look who's here. Hi friends. I'm really glad you're here. Jasmine, Brielle, and I are setting up a surprise for Eddie. Yeah, he's starting to learn how to read at school, so we've been putting up word signs all over the clubhouse. They show you the letters and words like apple. A-P-P-L-E spells apple. Or orange. O-R-A-N-G-E spells orange. That's right. It's easy to make lots and lots of word signs because there's a word for everything you can think of. In fact, it looks like we've put up all the words around the clubhouse. Uh-huh. So now we're going to put up word signs on the things outside the clubhouse. Race you there. Hey, wait for me. I'll be there in a minute. It's a lot of fun to make word signs. If you don't know how to spell words yet, you can ask a grown-up to help you with that, and then you can label all kinds of things around your home. And the word signs will help you to learn the letters. Let's go to the vision board. I'll show you. go. These are all the letters in the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. In some places, that letter is called Z. 26 letters all together. That's a lot to learn. That's why it's such a good idea to sing the alphabet. Do you know the ABC song? If you do, you can sing it with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? You're a very good learner. Let's sing the alphabet one more time. Be sure to watch all of the letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. 
Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Well done. Now let's go outside and see what Jasmine and Brielle are doing. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. K. K. Oh, hi, guys. How's the word signs coming? We've put a few up, and there's one right where you're standing. There is? Oh, yeah, look. D O O R spells door. And there's more that came from. Come see. Okay. See, I put this word right here on the stump. S T U M P, stump. Nice. And there's one right on the tree. T R E E, tree. Oh, hey, and I see one right down here, too. G R A S S. That spells grass. There was a hole. In the middle of the ground, the prettiest hole that you ever did see. Well, the hole in the ground, and the green grass grows all around the ground, and the green grass grows all around. And in this hole, there was a tree, the prettiest tree that you ever did see. Well, the tree in the hole, and the hole in the ground, and the green grass grows all around. On the tree and the tree in the hole in the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around and on this branch there was a bird the prettiest bird that you ever did see well the bird on the branch and the branch on the tree and the tree in the hole in the hole in the ground and the green grass grows all around all around and the green grass grows all around and the green grass grows all around That was a fun song, but that reminds me. I brought my lunch basket out today so I could have a snack. Wait a minute, that isn't right. The word basket starts with the letter B. That's just the letter T. Well, this isn't a word sign for the basket. This is the letter T because it's my favorite letter at lunchtime. Really? Yeah. It's my favorite letter because every food in my basket starts with the letter T. Really? Yep. Just listen while I tell you all about it. A tuna sandwich and some tofu and turkey. A salad with tomato and some turnip and some greens. Some taffy and a tart, a tasty tangerine. There's tons of tasty treats to try and they all start with tea. Tons of, tons of, tons of tasty treats. They taste, they taste. Tastes so good to me, so good to me, so good to me, so good to me, so good to me. There's tons of tasty treats to try, and they all start with tea. There's tons of tasty treats to try, and they all start with tea. Hmm. Let's see what else I have in my basket here. Hmm. Let me see. There's a ton of tortilla chips, a tub of tahini, some teriyaki tenderloin and tortellini. There's too much here to take, if this is all for me. There's tons of tasty treats to try and they all start with tea. Tons of, tons of, tons of tasty treats. They taste, they taste, taste so good to me, so good to me, so good to me, so good to me, so good to me. There's tons of tasty treats to try and they all start with tea. There's tons of tasty treats to try and they all start with tea. Tea, anyone? Wow, Mr. K, that's a really big lunch. It sure is. You guys can share some of this food with me if you'd like. Yes, please. Oh, it sounds like Speedy's here with the delivery. I'll go check while you guys have your lunch. Sounds See ya. Good. Come on, let's see what Speedy has for us today. Hi, Speedy. Hi, Mr. K. What do you say? Oh, not much. The kids and I have just been putting up word signs all over the clubhouse to help Eddie as he begins to learn to read. 
Oh, well, if Eddie is learning how to read, he's really going to like the surprise I have in this B-O-X. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Look, everybody. Speedy's box has a word sign on it. B-O-X spells box. That's right. And there are even more wonderful words inside. Oh, let's see. Oh, these are perfect. It's a book. B O O K spells book. And here's another one. And another. And another. Wow, Speedy, where'd you get all of these from? Well, they used to be mine. My mommy and I used to read these together when I was an itty bitty sloth. But we like different books now, so I thought you might like to have these ones at the clubhouse. Well, thank you, Speedy. It's very nice of you to share. When somebody writes a book, they put lots and lots of different words together to tell a story. Right, and these books also have pictures so you can see what the words are talking about. I just love to read stories about castles and knights and kings and queens. And I know Eddie loves to read about cars and airplanes and trucks. There are all kinds of books about anything that you can think of. If there's something that you want to know, or maybe some place you want to go. A book can teach you all the things that your mind needs to grow. There's so much to discover when you turn the pages in a book. Sharing a story with a friend, won't you come and take a look? Let's read a book. Hey. Hey, let's read a book. Comic books, chapter books, books with pictures too. Books about mysteries, or a book about the zoo. There's so much to discover when you turn the pages in a book. Sharing a story with a friend won't you come and take a look? Let's read a book. Hey, hey, let's read a book. Hey, thanks again for the book, Speedy. Would you like to stay and play here at the clubhouse for a while? Well, thanks, Mr. K. But I have more deliveries to make. I think I'd better finish those before I do any more playing. <laughs> That's probably a good idea, Speedy. I guess I'll see you later then. See you later, alligator! In a while, crocodile. <laughs> It was very nice of Speedy to give us those books. Now they're here in the clubhouse on the S-H-E-L-F. Shelf. I hope Eddie notices all these word signs when he gets here. I wonder when that will be. B-A-L-L -L spells ball. W-I-N-D-O-W -W spells window. Oh, here he is now. Hi, kids. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Mr. K. Did you see all these cool word signs everywhere? Yes, I have. Jasmine, Brielle, and I have been putting them up. I heard that you were learning to read at school, so I thought that you might like to look at some other words. Oh, yeah. They're awesome. Like, when I look down, I see the letters F-L-O-O-R. Right. Those make up the word floor. Yeah, and I see one of your most favorite words up here on the shelf. Oh yeah, C-A-R, car. I love cars. And there's even more words on the stage. Come see. Okay. See Eddie, these are mystery boxes. Mystery boxes? Yeah, each one has a special surprise in them. Yeah, all you have to do is read the word on the box to figure out what it is. Oh, I like this idea. As kids learn more and more about letters, they begin to notice what sounds they make. Just like the t, t sound we heard when I was t, t telling you about the food in my picnic basket. And Eddie can look at these letters and think about their sounds in order to read the words. And these words are short, so they'll be easy for him to sound out. Do you want to give it a try, Eddie? I guess so. Uh, this might be fun. The first word has the letters C, O, and W. C, O, and W. Well, the C makes a k, k sound. The 
O makes an ow, ow sound, and the W makes a w, w sound. K, ow, w, k, ow, w. Hey, that sounds a lot like the word cow. That's right. Oh, good job, Eddie. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Eddie. Next word has the letters P, I, and G. P, I, and G. Well, the P makes a p, p sound. The I makes a i, i sound. And the G makes a g, g sound. And when you put the sounds p, i, g, Together, you get the word pug. Pug. Pig. P I N G spells pig. That's right. Good job, Eddie. <laughs> you did a really good job at reading those words, Eddie. You should be very proud of yourself. I am. I. Found out two whole words all by myself, and I found a cow and a pig. Just like the cows and the pig on Old McDonald's farm. Yeah. Old McDonald's had a farm, E I E I O. And on this farm, he had a cow, E I E I O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old McDonald's. even more animals that we can play with. McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> um, Jasmine, what does E-I-E-I-O spell? Well, Eddie, it doesn't spell anything. It's just the part of the song. But these are some words that make a real word. Oh, yeah. H-O-R-S-E spells Horse! <laughs> and these letters make a real word too. Yeah, they do. L A M B spells lamb. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> um, Mr. K, um, we've seen word signs for things and word signs for animals, but, but what would it look like? If there was a word sign for me, 
Well, um, you might write the word person, P-E-R-S-O-N. But I think that word sign would be even more special if it had your name on it. My name? Yeah, my name was the first word I learned to spell. B-R-I-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, spelled Griel. Your names are very important. It's like having a special word just for yourself. Do you know how to spell your name, Eddie? Well, pretty much, yeah. I spell it in school all the time. But sometimes I make mistakes. <laughs> well, that's okay. We can help you practice if you want. Really? Yeah, we could teach you how to make your very own word sign. Let's go over to the table. See, Eddie? Here's my word sign. M I S T E R spells Mr. and the letter K. Mr. K. Cool! <laughs> Everyone needs to learn how to spell their name, and getting lots of practice only makes it easier. There are letters in my name, there are letters, 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 there are letters in my name, I say. There are letters in my name, and I want to learn them, learn them, so I'll practice every single day. Then I will learn, the letters learn, the letters learn, the letters that are in my name. Learn, the letters learn, the letters learn, the letters that are in my name. Here's my word sign, J. Eddie told me all the letters in his name. Now we're going to see how this word sign looks. E, e D, 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 I, I e. e. And that spells? Daddy! Yeah, good job! <laughs> it was a lot of fun making all these word signs. Now I have to go H-O-M-E, home. I have to go home too. I'm, I'm hoping my mom cooked dinner tonight. And I want to show my new word sign to all my friends and family. All right, well, thank you for coming to the clubhouse today. I had a fun time. Bye, Mr. Kay. See you later. Bye, Mr. I really did have fun today making word signs and looking at all the letters. I hope you try doing this at home too. Oh, that reminds me. Here's a word sign that I made just for you. Only it doesn't have your name on it. It has a different word that I think is just right for you. Do you know any of these letters? A, M, A, Z, I, N, G. That spells amazing. You see, there are words for anything that you can think of, but there are also nice words like amazing that we can use to make other people feel happy. And I just want to say that you are an amazing friend. There is no such thing as being too small. You can do great things when you give it your all. Someday you will be simply amazing.
When you set your mind to it, you can be the spark. Nothing left but to do it, don't give up. Always be kind. Follow your dreams and you will be simply amazing. Thank you for coming to the clubhouse today. I hope you had a fun time. See you next time. together that I need to return to the library. I borrowed them the other day. Do you like to read books? I love it. <laughs> With a book, there's so much that you can do. You can learn about far away places. You can learn about maybe animals or instruments. There's so much to discover when you turn the pages in a book. If there's something that you want to know Or maybe some place you want to go A book can teach you all the things That your mind needs to grow There's so much to discover When you turn the pages in a book Sharing a story with a friend Won't you come and take a look Let's read a book Hey, hey, let's read a book Comic books, chapter books Books with pictures too Books about mysteries Or a book about the zoo There's so much to discover When you turn the pages in a book Sharing a story with a friend Won't you come and take a look Let's read a book Hey, hey, let's read a book Okay, now that I got all my books together I can return them to the library Oh, would you like to come with me to the library? You would? Have you ever been to the library before? Oh, I think you'll really love it. Come on, use your imaginations and pretend you come to the library with me. Here we are. This is our public library. It's a big building filled with many, many books that you can come and read. Everyone is welcome here. Let's go inside. 
Good morning, Miss Anna. Good morning, Mr. K. It's great to see you again. Everyone, this is my great friend, Miss Anna. Miss Anna is a librarian. That's right. I answer questions for people and help them find books. And she's always a great help. By the way, here are the books I checked out. I'm ready to return them now. You always do the right thing, Mr. K, returning your books on time so that other people can use them. It's the right thing and the responsible thing to do. Well, this is our book drop, Mr. K, and all you have to do is press the button in the middle. And when the light turns green, you put your books in one at a time. One. Two. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Four. There we go. Hey, thanks for all your help, Miss Anna. I think I'm going to look around and see if I can find some other books. Great. Let me know if you have any questions. I will. Oh, hi everyone. It's Mr. K here. I wanted to talk to all of you parents out there who currently have children who are beginning to read or have just started reading. The education community agrees that there are five important early literacy practices which you should incorporate with your child. Talking, singing, writing, reading, and playing. I've met up with a few of my friends and we're going to demonstrate to you these different techniques and the best way to use them. Talking. Bella and I are going to show how important it is to make talking a two-way street with your child. This helps them to learn oral language and use of words. Talk to them intelligently, describe what you're doing, ask questions, respond to them, and repeat what they say. Bella will pretend to be our toddler. Tonight we're going to make chicken and vegetables to eat. Eat? Yeah, to eat. I'll first need to wash the vegetables. Wash? Yes, I have to wash them. That way they're nice and clean. You can ask them questions and respond to what they say. I want to play a game. Oh, okay. What do you want to play? Dance party. Oh, a dance party. That sounds like fun. What kind of dance will you do? Can you show me? All these activities will help your child's brain to grow and develop to build stronger vocabulary. Singing. Singing with a new reader helps develop language skills. It also slows down language so children can hear the different sounds and words. It helps children to learn new words and information. Baxter's going to join me and we'll sing a familiar song in a slower pace. Ready, Baxter? Ready, Mr. K. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good. Now we'll sing it faster. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Yeah! Boy, I love the library. There's so many different kinds of books that you can look at. And when you use your imagination, these books can take you on lots of different adventures. I can pretend I'm marching in a band. Look through binoculars made with my hands. Or build a castle in the sand, sand, sand. When I use my imagination. Taking when we use our 
oh, that's a cool one. So many different books to choose from. Hey, look who else is at the library. Hey there, Eddie. Hey, Mr. K, what are you doing here? Well, I had some books that I had to return back to the library. Now I'm looking for some more. What about you? Well, I always come to the library so I can read new books. I see. And what are some of your favorite kinds of books? I don't really have a favorite. I just like reading a lot. I can tell. You look like you have a lot of books here already. Hey, let's count them all. like this because they're so easy to read and the pictures are so cool. I see. And picture books like this help readers who are just learning to read by using smaller words like not and hop. See? N-O-T spells not and H-O-P spells hop. And when those letters come marching in one after the other, they create words that we can read. Writing. Children as young as two years old begin to make marks and symbols in the early stages of emergent writing. Children become aware that printed letters stand for spoken words as they see print in their daily lives. Baxter and I are going to show some activities that encourage this. Using simple words, you can teach your child how to write these words. Think out loud while you write. C A T. Okay, Baxter. Now it's your turn to practice. Good job. Another way to practice is by writing their name. Let's see here. Baxter. And then you let them practice. You might guide their hand first. Here you go, Baxter. Baxter. Good job. And then you might let them practice all on their own. These and other many good resources you can find online or at your local library on all the different stages of emergent writing and activities that you can try. Reading. Speedy and I are going to show you how important reading is with your child. Reading together develops vocabulary and comprehension. It nurtures a love for reading and motivates children to want to learn to read. Have your child sit in your lap or close to you ask questions, and encourage them to use their words to describe things and their feelings. Look! Oh, what do you see? It's the moon! Oh, it is the moon! What does it look like? It's big and yellow! Yeah, it is big and yellow, and it's kind of like a crescent shape, huh? Almost looks like a banana. What are they doing underneath? Oh, they're sleeping in the tree! Yeah, they are. What do you think of this picture, Speedy? Uh, it makes me happy. Oh, does it? Does, do you wish that you were sleeping in the tree? Mm-hmm. I love naps. I could sleep all day. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Playing. 
Playing is one of the best ways for children to learn language and literacy skills. They learn language through playing as the activities help them put thoughts into words as they talk about what they're doing. Harmony and I will show you how this works as we play with some toys. Hello, friend! Oh, I'm just walking home from my other friend's house. We played with balloons and we ate french fries and applesauce. Ooh, I'm a bit hungry. I think I'm going to climb that tree and find me an apple. Here, I'll put this rock under you to help you reach. Whoop. Oh, hey, do you want to come to my house and see my goldfish? He lives in a bowl. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. I hope these steps help you as you begin to help your child on the journey to learn to read. Remember these five early literacy steps and you'll be well on your way to a successful reader. Talking, singing, writing, reading, and playing. I hope these help you and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, Eddie, did you know that you could take some of these books home with you? Really? Yeah, that's the great thing about the library. You can come and read books here, or you can take them home with you to borrow. So, I can have any of these books, Mr. K? Well, no, you can't keep them forever, but you can use a library card, like this, to check out books and take them home to read, and then when you're done, you can return them back to the library so other people have a chance to read them. And the cool thing is, there's so many different kinds of libraries that you can visit to find more books. The library is such an amazing place to go, but did you know, not all libraries look the same. Yes, they can look very different. Like public libraries, like the one in the video. A public library is open to any and everyone to come read books, check out books, use the computers, or any other resources that may be available. These libraries are a little different and you may see them where you are, in your school. School libraries are very important because you can go and you can also check out books, or if you're doing a research or something for school, you can use this library to find all kinds of information that'll make your work easier. And you don't need a library card for these, you just have to be a student at the school. You may see these where you live. These cute little boxes are neighborhood libraries. They're just as important as any other. A neighborhood library is where anyone can go who has books that they no longer want to use or read and they can leave them there for others to come by and borrow. You can borrow one out, you can read it, and then you can take it back to the neighborhood library and share it with other people. This one also doesn't need a library card. It's very convenient. You just have to find it where you are. I really love the library. No matter how big or small they are, they have so many books that can take you on so many adventures. I hope you'll visit the library, whether it's in your neighborhood or your school or the public library and dive into a book. Can you help me find a certain kind of book? I sure can, Eddie. What are you looking for? Ooh, how about Good Night Owl? Okay, so this is called the Library Catalog, and it keeps track of every single thing that we have in the library and mm -hmm. where you can find it on the shelf. Mm -hmm. So we just touch the screen to begin, and then we search for Good Night ah. Owl. Yep. We have it, and it's even here on the shelf. So if I click on this book title, it brings it up and tells us that this book is located in our Youth Easy collection and it's under the author's last name, so we can go and find it. Cool. Hmm. Good night. Oh, here it is! Good night, Owl. Okay, Eddie. Miss Anna will get you all set up for your very own library card. I'm really excited to help you get your first library card today, Eddie. Since you're here with your grown-up, I'll just need a photo ID with a current address listed. Here you go. Thank you. So now I take this and I enter all of your information into our computer. Your name, address, your phone number, and your email address. We get you all set up. There you go. And now you have your very first library card. Are these the books you'd like to check out? Okay. So I just take your card and scan it over here on our computer. 
and set your books over here. And now you're all set. There you go, Eddie. Awesome. Thank you for all your help, Miss Anne. We'll see you soon. You're welcome. Have a great day. This is cool. This program is called Baby Reads. It's a partnership with the Council Bluffs Public Library and Raise Me to Read. Research shows that reading to your baby can contribute significantly to their brain development, reading, singing to them, or even playing easy games. With Baby Reads, you can get your newborn baby their very own library card so you can check out books to read to them. And if you have any fines, they will forgive the fines one time as long as you sign up your newborn child before their first birthday. And it's easy to do. You fill out the application inside the brochure and you take it over to the circulation desk and they can help you out to get you and your baby set up to start reading some brand new books. There is no such thing as being too small you can do great things when you give it your all someday you will be simply amazing you can make a mark when you set your mind to it you can be the spark Nothing left but to do it someday You will be simply amazing So don't give up Always be kind Follow your dreams And you will be simply amazing Bye bye for now I'll see you again soon house